Then we will read Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse oh. 41. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> O Gangeya Katri, girl with the golden body. Wow. Okay. When will I color your excellent nectar like lips? that are red like bimba fruits. With lipstick of katechu mixed with fresh camphor. Will the Krishna parrot Suddenly come then and forcibly bite them. Yeah. Oh, Gangeya Gatri, girl with the golden body. When will I color your excellent nectar-like lips that are red like bimba fruits with lipstick of kateshu Mix yeah. with fresh camphor. Yeah. Will the Krishna parrot suddenly come then and forcibly bite them? Rade. Rade. Shiragunata's prayers for devotional service that are resting in his heart. Shiragunata's prayers for devotional service that are resting in his heart flow on like a clear stream of ever increasing emotions. It is as if Srimati Radharani sits in his heart and soothes it. A wonderful relish of love of Krishna can be tasted while serving Priyaji's lotus feet. Yeah. On the bank of her kunda. Without worshipping Sri Radhika's lotus feet and taking shelter of her divine abode, Krishna's sweetness cannot be relished. Mm. 
street. Shidaraguna mm -hmm. Das writes in his Sva Sankalpa Prakasha Stotram without worshipping the dust of Radha's lotus feet. Without taking shelter of Vrindavana, where her footprints are lying, and without conversing with those whose hearts are filled with deep love for her, how can anyone enter? Into the Sham Ocean. Sri Radhe, Sri Radhe. Explain to Ranga. Radhe, Radhe, Guru Dev. This is the three ingredients which are necessary for sadaka, worshipping the dust of Radha's lotus feet, taking full shelter of Rindavan, and conversing, conversation, speaking, talking, with those whose hearts are full of Rad love for Radharani. Yeah. So, in that way, Sadaka can make a progress in his spiritual life, yeah. following these three ingredients. Mm. It is a recipe, three ingredient recipe. Without worshipping the dust of Radha's lotus feet, without taking shelter of Vrindavana, where her footprints are lying mm. and without conversing with those whose hearts are filled with deep love for her how can anyone enter into the sham ocean yeah. Gurute, what means to take shelter of Vrindavan? You are explained. You have a very good. No, useless. One is leaving Vrindavan. One is taking shelter of Vrindavan. One is visiting Vrindavan like a tourist. So he not takes shelter, right? Who's the tourist? He come to tour Vrindavan. <laughs> but who lives in Vrindavan and mind is out of Vrindavan, is also not in Vrindavan. But 
one, his body is not in Vrindavan, but his heart and mind living in Vrindavan. That takes time of birth. That is the meaning of taking shelter of Brahma. Now you judge. Like I am living in Vrindavan, but if my mind is going out of Vrindavan <coughs> for something, then I am not living in Vrindavan. Thus my body is living but my mind is out for something, so I am out of Vrindavan. Vrindavan living from Desena in, in G for Jesus, from body, mind, heart and soul. Huh? I love what you say. Body. I love with my body, my heart, and uh, my mind and my soul. I love my Jesus, my body, mind, heart, and soul. That is the living in brother. I love and love and with my body heart, mind, and soul, although I am not in Vrindavan. Or oh, I am in Vrindavan, also it happens like So, Gurudev, is there a difference between living in Vrindavan and have also the mind in Vrindavan and the heart in Vrindavan in the, in in the, with, the, with one person who is living outside of Vrindavan, but is totally with heart and mind also in Vrindavan. Is there a difference between these two? Mind is more important. Both minds are here. Both. Mind has to be in Vrindavan. That is living in Vrindavan. Body can be far than Vrindavan, but when mind is in Vrindavan, I am in Vrindavan. Mind is the Raga Bhakti, no? mental, mental religion. Mental. So if you want to go in Raga Bhakti, mind has to be fixed in Vrindavan. I see that my mother. She lives in Vrindavan. Always making painting and thinking for past time of Vrindavan. Really, it's so, beautiful. Yes. Who's in Vrindavan? Jaiho. Right? Gaurangas. Always his meditation. To make paintings. When she when we make one painting, she can see that. I have some work, but I forget to do that because of her love and so much devotion to make that painting. I said, okay, I want to see that. What a part she is giving to make something, or bow in the picture. So this bow means, is a feeling, right? Feeling bring you to them. And today we were reading over this in the morning, no? we live in feelings and we are liberated. You see, say that. Mm -hmm. No, be not no, just came to me uh, this morning in the uh, Russian Zoom. We were reading from Radha Rasa Sudhani, verse 6. It was that only Radharani can revive Krishna, who is in a swoon, and only her transcendental ecstatic rasa can revive him. And 
it was saying that the aspirant devotee has to live in feelings and then we will be liberated. Like means that if we live in feelings, we will live also in our spiritual identity. And feeling bring you in Rati. And Rati bring you in Prema. Madness. Rati means so much madness happened that I, if somebody is there, I know see that. Only one pointedness happened. Madness. To, to my mind is not looking if nearby someone is there. So Rati means one pointed which. Rati is the wife of Kamadeva. When Rati comes, then Kama is coming. And Kupit is Krishna. One is a spiritual Kupit, one is a material Kupit. Krishna is the divine Kupit when he just loved of Radhika, he intends to become a Manjari, intends to become for Radhika, a Radhika love become intense for all the time intense, but intense that Cupid scares them. But Krishna is a Cupid, but Radhika arrow, even though he will become fainted. Yeah. And revive his friend of Krishna is Radha. She revived out from the hmm. So, the more so revive to him from the soul zone. Soul. Soul. Yeah. Radhika. And Radhika's Dasi. Feeling make you detach from the material thing. The moment you come and flow in feeling, automatically you detach with material attachment. Yeah. Yes, Sri Pad Prabodhananda Saraswati says those who give up Radhika's service and try only to taste Krishna's sweetness. They only attain a drop of the ocean of nectar. Gopiba maximum. In Croatia, they close all of their camera. I'm surprised. What happened? Why they closed it? They're hiding from me. Uh, go on. Mm. Problem. But open your camera. Then I can see you. 
Yeah. In this connection, it is said that once yeah. the world famous Vedantic Sannyasi Madhusudana Saraswati wow. came to Vraja mm -hmm. and gave a note with the words Krishna Sindhu, the Krishna Ocean, on wow. it to some bypassing sadhu, asking him to bring this note to the leading scholar of Vraja and to bring the reply of that scholar back to him. Yeah. At that time, the leading scholar of Vraja was Sri Jiva Goswami. Wow. When the sadhu handed him the note, Sri Jiva wrote a verse on the back yeah. saying, What will you do in the Krishna ocean without worshipping Sri Radha's lotus feet? and the dust of Vraja that was trampled by these feet. Jai Ho! Jai Ho! So how many waste their time? So Prabhupada is always telling, go to Vrindavan, then you will understand. If not, then you will never understand. Vrindavan will show you the how to get Krishna through Radha, not direct. Jai Ho! In this way, the Acharyas show that Krishna's sweetness can only be really tasted by serving Sri Radha. Yeah. Because they are never separated. I know. You want to see the sweetness, the opulence of Krishna. If you like to see sweetness, it will come from the flowers, mellow. And when you want to see apples, you will not go in mellow. Very simple. You want, I want to know apples of him, that he is really God of us. He exists as a God or not? Then we see the opulence of them, Him. And when you want to love Him, then you search which manner to exchange my feeling with me. So that has to decide. You want to know Him or you want to love Him? <laughs> Right? Yeah. That to decide. Braja, Vrindavan beauty is this. They are not interested to know him. They already know. They believe that. Information is not required. Their information is is a cowboy. No opulence is there that there 
their information and they accept that they don't want to deviate from that. Give more beautiful look when the cow dunk, when the gopis put on his face, then he become more beautiful. He become wall for the gopis in love of gopis. This make him supreme. They are not interested to see Virat's Virat Swarup of Krishna. They do not want to see the Creator as a Krishna. They are not interested. They don't believe this that He is the Creator. He say He is like human, like me. He do the pastime like human. We do. He is the same feeling and living. He also feel hot, he also feel cold, he also feel rainy season and all season he feel. He also feel to eat and he also feel to drink. Like me. Gurudev, this is speciality of Vrindavan, and this is possible only in Vrindavan, because this Krishna... Prabhupada wants to show this to every corner of the world. This is the Prabhupada mercy. This is Prabhupada Mercy Gurudev. He wants it to sh and all our acharyas. And Prabhupada because they want to see in Bhagavad Gita page four. Mm. He said, only thing to do devotional practice in the meadow. Select one of the meadow and devotional practice. And this devotional practice will bring you to Sarup. And this is the very, 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 very right thing. After 20 years, you have to do this. After 30 years, you have to do this. Or 50 years, you have to do this. Or next life, you have to do this. This is his gift of writing. And he said, this is not an ordinary subject. This is what was celebrated subject. Celebrated with all books and the scripture is mentioned about this mallow. Who not select mallow in life, they are not in mallow. They are dry up. And the Ebaba. They dry up. And they go through the mallow. They receive feeling and rasa. They are living in the feeling and rasa. They are seeing Radha and Krishna, and that makes them Ananda. Believing in God and knowing is God is no meaningful if I have no relation and love with him. Hmm. 
nothing is going to change in life. I believe, okay, yeah, I believe. God will say also, okay, I believe. You are a good person. What will change and happen with that? Everything works with relation and living in the malo. Yeah. Magician not when you sing the Harvi Raga, you have to keep that Raga till you are singing. That's another. If you sing Malar, you have to live in that Raga. From heart that rain will come. Mercy will come when you maintain that man. Malo is your rasa. Friendly rasa. Motherly rasa and conjugal rasa. This is the teaching of all sasa. And if you read in this manner to Bhagavad Gita, any Book is all crystal clear. We want direct Krishna relation. This is Gopi Vaham. Maybe you can see one time, but you cannot relate with And that will be also, you will see like a flash, like a spark, like a lightning. Guru, if I have a question. Yeah, come. Hey, Radhika. So all yeah. the fellows, they actually come from Shrimati Radhika. Because she is the creator of Rindavan. She creates Rindavan through her love because she wants to please her beloved. So she creates Rindavan, this place where all is a mellow. So could we say that uh, if we don't go in relationship with her, all the mellows are somehow close to us? No, mellow is already fixed. A motherly mallow is fixed. Eh? Conjugal mallow is Radhika's mallow. But in conjugal mallow, you can see that friendly mallow is also coming. Motherly mallow is also coming. 
passive mellow is also coming and active mellow is also coming. So you write also that it comes from conjugal mallow, you can say like But five mallows all can see one place, this conjugal mallow. So this mallow is the highest. No, I was wondering, Guru, if that before, you know, before we, we, we were learning to see Krishna as the Supreme Lord and this and that, but uh, everything as a mellow was closed because nobody ever speak about uh, Shimate Radhika and her mellow and that this is our Guru Varga, our, this special gift of no. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's always talking. How much I am qualified to take it? That is the point. That is the point. We skip this mellow subject because uh -huh. we are not interested to be to know mellow. We have to know the truth because we are not living in the truth. We don't believe anything. So Prabhupada say, when you assign Krishna, you accept Krishna, then you know the truth. And when you start living in truth, that you are soul and He is the creator of us. When we fix it, this, that Slowly, slowly, mellow start. So how long time takes to us? We can make straight also, faster also, and we can take 20 years only to, to assign Krishna, or 30 years. But when I assign it, why I will bother? You will become Narvat. I will see him like a human to him, to relate with him. Like us. Any mallow cannot flow if somebody is very high. It should be parallel or lower than mallow's type. It cannot, mano cannot go to the higher thing. Then adoring will start. When he is in one like me, then mano starts. Or lower to me, then mano starts. The moment I will make higher to him, Mallow will drop. <clears throat> that is different thing. How I understand how the guide guide me. But everybody say, but we take the subject, what is my interest? But not but everybody has say it in the same realization, Gurudev, this is not true. Because not everybody has the realization really about the topics that they are speaking about. How I am talking if the Prabhupada is not right. How I am talking if Narayan Maharaj is not telling. All are telling. But after that, who is not realized, I don't know them. <laughs> that I have no relation with them. 
Yes. Thank you, Gurudev, for clearing this. When I see them, they are maintaining the mallow and living in me. Like you, you are singing Bhairavi, the five person, then you not see outside five person what they are doing. They are singing and they are in one mallow. Who don't know the mallow, how they can sing it. And why I associate with the person who has no mallow. Useless. <laughs> Check the mallow. If any mallow is there, he's a friend. And real friend, if he has the same mallow, they are best friend. And if you put something or someone higher, then also the intimate relation starts. It cannot be an intimate relation if somebody is higher. It just might be a relation, but not intimate. Right? No, you will adore. You cannot be intimate. You cannot make intimacy <laughs> with him. You have to maintain the etiquette, rule and regulation. Gopakumar went to Narayan and he wanted to jump and hug. Then the horse <laughs> stop it. What you are doing? Stay straight. <laughs> you cannot do this nonsense here. Is Narayan. So, Gurudev, the place where love exchange is happening is also important. It's not yeah. that in each place specific rasa can be manifested fully. And this is the reason why Vrindavan is so important Love, for yeah. this natural love. How to receive the mallow and leave it? Yeah. This land is teaching. Yeah. Krishna wants yeah. to be conquered in Vrindavan with love. Yeah, I need my love. He can conquer. Yes. Mother of Concord. Yes. He's the receiver of love. Yeah. He don't have, he has no interest in other. Yes. Even the God you are interested in. God is not interested in other things than love. Yeah. But he has so Miser to give love, we not want to do that. We want to keep distance to exchange my mallow. Good. And one thing came to me also, even if we speak about the mellows and we were also 30 years listening, oh, you can have all the relationships with Krishna if you like. This was also a nice idea, but it was only one idea. For myself, I could say, if I don't meet anybody who is in the mellow, it's it's like hopeless for me to to have the 
you know, the connection also to enter into any mellow. That is my realization. They will block us, huh? How they will make you to grow? They block us <laughs> indirectly. Nobody is happy for the progress of others. Because this is the unknown for them. This is the reason, Gurudev, why Raghunath is saying what Rasamai just was reading in this ing three ingredients mm -hmm. without conversing with those whose hearts are filled with deep love for Radhika. Mm. Right. Yeah. And this is real Sangha. That is the point. This is this is the yeah. not so cultural. Not one, 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 я не поняла ваш вопрос. Извините, Рада Мухана, извините, я не поняла, что вы спрашиваете. Я, я спросил, что э, не, вот из этих трех да, должны присутствовать все три, не один, не два, а только три, да? тогда будет успех в этом вопросе. Что три? Я, я просто прослушала, что три? Что три? Три ингредиента должно присутствовать, говорит Гарван Гасунда, Рабу. Я а прослушала. Я ага. Один не пойдет, два не пойдет, только три должно присутствовать, да, чтобы Всё. был успех. Окей, okay. да, поняла. Uh, asks... Uh, no, not one ingredient, but all three ingredients should be there, right? For success. <laughs> then there is nothing happening. One has to take one. Mother cannot be a lover at the same time. Lover is lover, mother is mother, right? So mother has to be motherly, mellow living, permanently. That is motherly mellow. Never change that mellow. How much you fix that mallow, you will get the perfection. Translate. Gonda Mohini is translating. You can listen to what you're saying. <coughs> Gurudev, I think that Radha Moham was mentioning these three ingredients without worshipping the dust of Radha's lotus foot. Second one, without taking shelter of Vrindavan <coughs> and without conversing with those devotees who have similar emotions. He was thinking right. about these three ingredients. Yeah, three that and he was asking, yes, is it necessary 
all three to be including or maybe just one two three is very good that's match. right it's okay i want to say <laughs> one one is also process with this time this three ingredients if you got it and it starts living there no infrastructure which will go this smoothly the progress will come radha rani give you feeling <coughs> if you want motherly feeling you need the feel friendly feelings also is our grace is a mahabhav highest feeling is mahabhav so feeling come from her so niti say it all comes from radhika is right Thank you, Guru Dev. Thank you. Bring it away. In a transcendental revelation, Sri Raghunatha says. I Gange Agatri O oh, golden limbed girl <coughs> When can I color your nectarian bimba fruit like lips with lipstick made of kateshu scented with nice fresh camphor shiratika's lips are naturally reddish so why do they still need lipstick for this one must know what's on the mind of the savior the worshipable deity ishtadev shri radha is full of mahabhav is this natural for her to make mohana relish shringaras chaitanya charitamrita says krishna ke khoraya sham rasa madhupana Nirantara purna kore Krishnera sarva kam She makes Krishna drink the honey drink of sham rasa erotic flavors and she always fulfills all of his desires Yes. 
So in black body, many red spots come. When she gets to Krishna, it becomes everywhere where the lips are to his face, his hand, everywhere, where he kisses, she kisses. That, not only, they both happy, the Manjaris also become happy to relish them. You see, we want to go direct to Krishna. We never find Krishna meeting or feeling. But if you go through Radhika, your desire will finish personal meeting with Krishna and more radishment will come in life. This is the mercy of Radhika. If you take shelter, <laughs> You always start living with Krishna because your Swami is want to be with him. And as a Manjari, you are always relishing their exchange of love. Where to get it? Where to find this service? Is the mercy of our Acharya. Mahaprabhu comes to show that. Brother hmm? Rade, I think it's I think it's difficult for us, um, brothers and sisters, to understand understand how great this, how strong this idea of desire is, loving desire. But it can help, for me, it can help to put it together with another idea that Gurudev talks to us about often of uh, surrender. Living in this desire means surrendering our will, surrendering our rationality, surrendering our minds, giving ourselves over to it. And that's why the story of, of, of Krishna and this Leela is so dramatic because Krishna, of course, is the king of everything, the king of the universe. And he's surrendering all that power to his desire for, for Radhika. It's this great surrender as, as a way of giving up all that power he has which is the example of, of the loving desire that we're looking to live in our, in our practice. <coughs> and why she's surrendering? Because she has the highest feeling. Hmm. And feeling brings us to love. And to develop a spiritual lust. Madness. All subjects start happening after that. Feeling is the love. Feeling is a spiritual life. 
feeling between make you from material to spiritual. And then the Lord has to surrender to that feeling, who has a feeling higher feeling, because that is love. In the morning time, the Gopi was there, and Gopi wants to meet Krishna. When the Gopi meet with Krishna, then he shocked Krishna that the feeling is not higher like Radhika, and then he becomes fainted. All are there, but that is not there. Her feeling, her love is missing. That, that love, that feeling, makes him friend. What you say? So, so. Sorry, my English is not. Huh? Faint, good. Yes, and soon. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> it sounds sweet when you say it, Gurudev. Yeah. Mm. Trying to learn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is relishment. That relishment. That is really correct time using for our development. Go on. She makes Mohana drink the honey drink of sham rasa erotic yeah. flavors and she always fulfills all of mohana's desires she yeah. yeah. she does The Goswamis prayed to Sri Radha, Please personally teach me how to serve you more expertly. Yeah. I'm not interested with your lover. I'm interested to serve you. To learn from you how you give love in every behavior, every action through you, through the body, through the feelings, through the smiling, through the all actions from your behavior, how you make happy to this who is never satisfied with anything, how you do this. I want to learn from you and I want to learn and live and bury yourself. Please personally teach me how to serve you 
more expertly. Rupa Goswami's Radhashtakam says, I worship Sri Radhika, who considers the tip of Sri Hari's toenail millions of times more dear than her own life. who teaches all the blissful, fickle-eyed gopis expertise in arts and who is very famous the practicing devotee should always think is she accepting the service that I offer to her or not? I am only doing bhajan because it gives me personal happiness. I am doing my quota Nothing more. If I don't give myself a certain quota, I won't do anything. But this, but this is not the natural beauty of bhajan. Yeah. I give my time, I give everything, but I don't want to give myself to. Yeah. It's not true surrender. <laughs> That's the point. That is God worshiping. Bhajan is beautiful when you feel some want, some void, some emptiness. <clears throat> I have got my meals, I am healthy, everything is okay. If you think like this, your bhajan will be lifeless and mechanical. How many worldly things like profit, adoration, distinction, money and fame a person like me misses but I never miss Radharani at all. But the great devotee's thirst for bhajan can never be quenched. Just as a thirst for water of someone who suffers from cholera can never be quenched. Naruta Madasa says, Krishna is the greatest amorous hero 
be very thirsty for him and worship him in the mood of Raja. Expertise in bhajan does not depend on anything else. There won't be even a whiff of empirical knowledge, result-oriented works, profit, adoration, or distinction anymore. All these ulterior motives make the mind very coarse. How can one then taste the clear, spotless flavors of Raja? Ulterior external motives deceive us in different ways. Although we know these things in theory, we still don't realize them. Hmm. Sri Pad Premananda Thakura has written in his Mana Shiksha O oh mind, you just don't understand. You say that you are beyond the Vedic regulations but you perform forbidden activities. When I see this, I see your very essence. You call liberation a luxurious distraction <clears throat> and you have thrown it far away. Give me a hint so that I can understand this truth. Fleeting, useless riches are always desirable and you are going mad thinking about it day and night. You outwardly perform rituals without desire for gain, but you are not able to free yourself from the same. In your speech, you are detached from the material world. And the one who you call my everything is the same one, everything you give only a lousy banyan leaf to. And you think that it is yours to give. You say, I worship Vrindavana but you are happily staying at home. You love all exterior trappings, but are en enraged when insult. You are satisfied with praise, but are enraged when insulted. How did you manage to destroy the happiness of your soul? You say that you follow the gopis, 
But what do you understand about the meaning of that? You cannot let go of your nature. You get pleasure seeing the face of material nature who swallows you whole. Listen, says Premananda. If you think about it, it is all a ball of confusion. What is to be gained by listening or flapping your mouth? Always chant Hari Hari while you traverse the path of love. And you will surely be cleansed of all impurities. By taking full shelter of Sri Hari Nama, Maya will go far away. I am taking shelter of the holy name. What can Maya do to me? A dauntless devotee should think like that. Shila Raghunath. Shila Raghunath Goswami is in the kingdom of spiritual leaders. And he says, O oh, golden-limbed girl, I have colored your lips now. Do you know what your lips are like? like the most excellent hardened nectar. Swamini says, lips are not liquid, are they? Why are you calling them nectar lips then? Tulasi says, I myself do not understand. He who understands it has made me understand. The Chakora bird that lives on a nectar alone cannot live without drinking the solid nectar from your moon-like face. Yeah. He doesn't drink it, he chews it, and you keep him alive with this nectar. Yeah. While Swami hears this, a golden effulgence comes from her body. <clears throat> that is why Tulasi calls her Gangeya Gatri. How blessed is this Dasi that she can make Swamini mad by making her relish these words. Swamini says, 
But then, why did you apply color to my lips? Aren't they naturally reddish? Tulasi says, Hmm, will some black Krishna parrot come and forcibly bite these lips unless I apply this color? <coughs> He will only come when he gets a hint from you. If he gets no hint, he won't come. You may shake your head and say, No, no, making your nose pearl swing and your eyebrows dance. How wonderfully beautiful you are at that time. There will be a yes visible in all the no's that you exclaim. <laughs> It is as if all every no will be swallowed by a big yes. Swamini is overwhelmed by ecstasy when she hears Tulasi's words, and it is as if this Leela appears before her eyes. This Leela will actually be visible to the spiritual eyes of those devotees who have developed love for Radha and Mohana. Swamini is, after all, the embodiment of Mahabha. Tulasi concludes by saying, O oh, Gankeya Katri, do you know why I colored your naturally reddish lips with this Kadira lipstick? The natural color of the lips will stay on the lips. This is not a solid color, it is liquid, and it will look very beautiful when it is transferred to a black spot. Wow. Mm -hmm. When I see a red spot on Mohana's black cheek, mm. I will feel fulfilled. Yeah. In this way, yeah. in this way, Tulasi makes Swamini relish sweet rasta. Yeah. Through her joking words. She loves. The stream of Shiragunata's transcendental visions flows on.
Shirasika Chandra Dasa sings. O golden hue, Radhe, when can I fulfill my desires? By coloring your lips that are like a stream of nectar. in an astonishing way with the best Kateshu lipstick mixed with camphor. These lips are already as beautiful as ripe bimba fruits. But now they will become even more beautiful. When the Mohan parrot sees this, he will become very enthusiastic to bite them to his mind's pleasure. This is the end of verse 41. I was so happy to hear Gurudev about yes and no in the commentary. Yes is the yes is the word of Manjari Bhav. Mm. Yes, I will serve you. Yes, I will give you what you want. Yes, your pleasure is my pleasure. There are no no's in it. This is the word for unconditional love. Yes. Yeah. Some people say that uh, Om is the sound, the original sound of the universe. And I think we can translate Om like this as yes. The universe says yes. It's made of unconditional love. Yeah. 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 Okay. Only when, when Krishna is naughty, then, then Manjari can say no. Sri he's just playing, he's finding his way around to the yes. No, no, it's for them, whole life running for them to Krishna, no is a no. And when I don't try for anything, here, yes, everything is yes. Hmm. Without knowing what I am thinking, yes, now you start telling no, and what he is not practicing, that is become yes. That's a cylinder, total cylinder, one point. Rather. So surrender is a process. The more prema and rati, the more we surrender. Yeah. As I often heard, first we have to surrender. But I feel first we have to feel, then we can surrender, no? Feeling and heart money with them. And I can feel it. If I not I know, give myself how I will feel from distance. I have to give myself to feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I not give, I keep distance and I say, I, I want to feel you. I, 
you have to give yourself to feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you see, the internet saved me. Yeah. Yeah. This is the right. <laughs>